So last time we were on the road we had a number of questions about our boat loader and as we're getting ready for our next trip good opportunity to show you how we attached our boat loader to our ARB base rack and really it just revolves around these fittings here which go onto the various slats that run across and in our case more is better. So in, in total there's eight locating points that we use to lock it down and attach it to the top of the base rack. So for us it's a case of lifting it on and then just putting it in a position. You there? When it's attached to the base rack, this is what it looks like. We have two down the middle attached to this rear bar plus two on the outside gutter obviously on each side then on the center bar another two of the large brackets and then on the front bar one more attached on the outside gutters so eight contact points in total and that's how we fit it we're not saying it's the right way we're not saying whether it's legal all that sort of stuff but uh, we've done about 10,000 k's with it on the roof so we're pretty happy with it thus far. When we lash the boat down we utilize these ones that are attached to the base rack not the boat loader itself we also have them on the rear of the base rack and the front of the base rack so we lash the boat over in two locations and then we lash it forward and rear just for extra stability and safety. Uh, word for everybody, word of advice for somebody contemplating doing it too, good thick straps. If you use small cheaper straps, not only are they not real safe, but they hum and sing to you the whole time. So ours is an original series one boat loader, the rear loader, um, a hand operated one which works with the winch, which we find is really easy. Uh, just as the attachment goes in the drawbar and winches up, no trouble whatsoever, single person operation. So that's our setup. Uh, we're off to WA this year, hopefully uh, spend about five months on the road. And who knows, might even see you guys out there. Say hello, give us a like and subscribe and uh, stay safe.